On this week's MetPy Monday, we're going to look at how to use enums with a flag so we can do bitwise logical operations. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, we're going to expand a little bit on last week's Monday, where we talked about enums and introduced what that data type lets you do. And we're going to look at how to use a flag now and the auto method to make creating these enums easier and be able to do logical operations on them. So from enum, I'm going to import flag and auto. Now you may remember that if we wanted to make an enum, let's say for current conditions, I'm gonna go ahead and inherit from a flag here. We would say things like rain is equal to one. And we could assign numeric values to these different members of our enum. Well, the first trick that we wanna talk about is using auto. Using auto, it's going to automatically number these for us because I don't really care what number represents these different current conditions. Now in some situations, you might, uh, but we really don't here, so we can use auto to not have to worry about trying to keep track of that numbering ourselves. I'm gonna go ahead and create a few different current conditions here. Now let's see, let's do mist, wind, or windy maybe, and calm. All right, so there's our current conditions. So if I look at rain, so we do current conditions dot rain, we see it has the numerical value of one. If we look at sunny, it has the numerical value of two. So what do you think partly cloudy is going to have a numerical value of. Well, if you guessed four, you might be a computer science major. And you're right, these are in powers of two. So one, two, four, eight, and so on. Just to prove it, mostly cloudy is eight. So auto numbers by powers of two. You also notice that instead of just inheriting from plain old enum, I inherited from flag. Now, why did I do that? Well, this lets us do Boolean logical operations with members of our enum. So I can do neat things like say my station is KBOU and it has current conditions dot rain or with current conditions dot partly cloudy or with current conditions dot calm and maybe kdin is current conditions dot mostly cloudy or with current conditions dot mist so if i look at kbou it's calm partly cloudy rain and that gives us the numerical value of 69 or if i look at kdin it's mist and mostly cloudy, and that gives us the numerical value of 24. Okay, so how is that really that useful? We can do some basic queries in here now. So for example, I can say is current conditions dot rain in KBOU, and it is. Is current conditions dot com in KDIN, and it is not. We can also look at some things like, let's take K boulder and and it with current conditions dot mist or current conditions dot rain. And we get that out of those two, it does have rain. So it's the idea of the enum that we explored last week, but just expanded a little bit, one, using the flag so we can do these interesting operations, and two, using auto so we don't have to keep track of assigning numerical values ourselves. 
Now, once you start getting into the more complex Booleans and start making relationships like is a or has a, for example, a severe thunderstorm has large hail or high winds, or a tornado even, and a tornado has high winds, those are more complicated data structures that may not be really suited to this. But for some of these more basic, I need to describe the conditions or I need to describe something with a few values out of my enum, this can be a really handy trick to use. I hope that you found this useful and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.